situations. Temple won the toss. They've deferred. They kick to Toledo, and we're underway in Boca Raton. The kick will sail through the end zone for the touchback and playing in what we now know will be his final collegiate game tonight. Temple, a little trouble getting lined up with the right personnel on the first play of the game. Healy's going to throw. It'll take a short hop. Was it caught? No. It and learned today, ESPN's Brett McMurphy reporting that has been denied. Batted in the air. Kareem Hunt field. Here you see him getting in an empty set, which Temple kind of expected. And a little flinch by Storm Norton, the junior left tackle for the Rockets. Ball start. Offense, number 74. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. There is a guy that's very electric, both in intercepting and making tackles for loss. Handed off to Mark Remy, who is smacked. Side near the center. He's a guy that's been a real problem for punt teams. Barely got that one away. Fielded at about the 25. And for the Owls in a season with a big night here in Boca. He'll hand it off to his star running back, Jahad Thomas, and a big gain on Thomas again. Gets the yardage for... Got a chance to win 11 games first time in the school's history if they can get this game tonight. Walker gets it off. Hit as he threw it. Coming a lot of adversity to get back into this game. Got a little flinch on the right side of the Owl offensive line. Full start. Offense number 55. Five yard penalty. Still second down. So got some adjustments defensively for the Rockets. Raquel Armstead. See right here, Toledo kind of playing bare defense. Got in the nose and two, three techniques on the guards. Nicely pursued. The Rockets deep. Yeah, be careful with Corey Jones back here at return. He's one of the better returners in the MAC. He's electric. The rugby kick to the side. Takes a nice bounce. Nice job of intercepting. Toledo's got to be careful backed up here. Ely throws out of the end zone. It's complete. First down yardage and more to the second half of their last game against Western Michigan. He can't play till the second half. Here's Kareem Hunt. They mark him at four yards, so second and six. Ely loses the ball, and he'll take a big loss on the sack. A big hand. So another third and very long for the Rockets. Ely dumps it inside to Kareem Hunt. Hunt will get out to the 21 yard. Inside, shifting over with the punter. Fielded at the 34. And great field position. Look at now we're playing Arena League football with the ball on the 50, and that's where that kicking game comes into play. E.J. Walker hands off for Paul Armstead. Well, second down, ball just shy of the midfield stripe. And it'll be Walker who keeps it. And a nice gain on second down before Trent Vaughn. They need the 42. Fighting for the tough yards, stretching out and re against Temple in the American Conference Championship game. Walker to throw, chased from the pocket. Makes one miss. Temple has blockers in order to put pressure on P.J. There's Thomas riding his back. It's an attempt of the game. They converted one of the prior two. There's Thomas. Dives forward. Nothing. I always say time of possession is the worst stat out there, but this is Temple football now. They want to control. Away. Sorry, Hawk. Yeah, they, they want to control. Got to think you're probably in two downs here to get a first. A little out of field goal range. They pick up the pressure, and Walker throws, and it's Woo! complete on the far side. Robbie Anderson with a nice grab. A little different than you see it in most offenses. Hand off to Armstead. It does not find a way to get not the field goals. Looks like blitz one-on-one -on -one coverage out here, and he's going to it. To the fade and over the top. So third down and ten. Under pressure, Walker throws and not able to get over. It Got a chance if he gets two in this game, he'll break the Temple record. And that one from 30 is good, and the Owls are on the board first.
Minute left, first quarter, and the first score is on the board here in Boca. And long on the pass from Walker to Anderson. And now Tyler Mays kicks off. It will be down in the end zone by Deontay. First 11 win season ever. And Toledo looking for its first 10 win season since 2001. They start from the 25. Ely hands off to Kareem Hunt, who is the absolute star of Toledo's bowl appearance. Kareem Hunt again for Toledo. Pursued nicely inside. The Rockets got in the first quarter. They've got to get something going here. Starting the second quarter with a third and long. Ely's throw off the mark. Got the ball about midfield. And put the field goal on the board. This one they set up the return. Uh, bad decision to let that one bounce. their own nine yard line that punt hit uh, outside the 30. Yeah you made the right call there had a fielding issue with Toledo now you had one with Temple. Guys from Toledo also from Florida he's from Lake Wales about an hour and 45 minutes away balls loose in the end zone and out of the end zone and that's gonna go for a safety. <laughs> Toledo steals a couple of points on a mishandled ball in the Temple backfield. Great penetration. Toledo had a stunt going on outside. Had people crashing down inside. Loopers coming outside. Great adjustment. Just lost the handle in there. Looked like Walker saw Jawan Woodley coming and tried to pull the ball back out from Jahad Thomas, and Thomas already was locking down on it. You take it, I got it. You know, back in the old option. Upstairs in the booth, remember the coaching change at the end of the regular season. And so the free kick fielded at the 30-yard line by Corey Jones. And he gets it all the way out to the fourth. This Temple defense off of them. They're crowding him a lot in early downs. Throws to the near side to Corey. He's not the big receiver on this team. That'd be Alonzo Russell sitting out until the third quarter. Ely with a nice back shoulder throw to the next spot, too. And now Terry Swanson tries to get a few. Trying to juggle all these guys and fit them in is probably a chore. Here's Swanson driving forward. He can run with some power. And this is a pretty good offensive line. They go quickly. Ely throws to the outside. Nicely caught there. Corey Jones still going. Into the end zone. He gets the pylon. Or do they say he stepped out? Touchdown Rockets. Got supervisor of officials Steve Shaw and I were both signaling touchdown. We both saw it from up here. There you see Corey Jones. Now this play was designed to go run play to the left or throw it outside. And he got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Breaks three, four tackles. Touchdown. Well, talk about momentum. It's a fickle thing. So the 26-yard touchdown brings on Jamison Vest, the freshman kicker, for the point after try. And it's a six-point lead, just getting things going. Temple's kick return game's been pretty good. This is David Hood. The re-kick from the 30-yard line. And this will be Jagger Gardner. And he's only going to get to the 30. After the turnover, E.J. Walker is going to throw. And that one is going to be This time he'll hand off to Thomas. But nothing doing on the far side. Mac punter first uh, team all Mac punter for this season if he can get his average they're gonna have pretty good starting position for this drive he'll fair catch it big momentum for the Rockets certainly have some bounce in their step don't they here's Kareem Hunt trying to bounce off some of the owl defenders in the game all time throw it to Jones 
dives for the first down. The guys in midnight blue. Ely this time hits across the center. Apologize for the difficulties with Tiffany's mic. It's been raining pretty hard at times tonight here. Doesn't always fit well with electronics. Is that picked off? Or did it hit the ground? They're waving incomplete. <laughs> Except for Tyler. He's waving interception. But umpire was right there on it. Had a good view. Tipped at the line of scrimmage. Matikiewicz leads linebackers in the country with interceptions. Steve Shaw. Probably got to go with the incomplete there. Too late now. If you were Temple and you wanted to call the timeout, there's Kareem Hunt trying to move the sticks. Talking to Coach Candle, he really feels like he's in four down territory in these situations. There's Swanson. Gets a chunk verted, 10 of them. They need the 30 yard line. Ely throws through the hands to Michigan State. And here's Temple looking to get something going now. First down. He's in the game at tailback. And he'll almost get hit as he takes the handoff again. Which kind of keyed this whole barrage here in the second quarter. Walker throws underneath. Deloach is pursued on a pass from Walker to Robbie Anderson. Tipped. One yard line earlier. When the rocket punt returner let one bounce, he probably shouldn't have. This time it'll be Jones, just inside his 20. And he'll New Year's Eve and the college football playoff semifinals. So Toledo back on offense and Swanson trying to grind out. All have got a safety, and it seems like it's been all Toledo since. Ely steps up but throws it through. He had a lot of other things. To I know worry I told about. him, I said, did your mom handle that? And he was, he was saying, no. I was going, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> He's kind of the captain of this crew and smart enough to get it all straightened out. Ely across the middle and a nice fast again. Toledo is here. Ely going to throw downfield and couldn't quite get it up here in this second quarter. He'll hand it off to Terry Swanson. Let it group. Ely swings it out with a lot of running room as Swanson. But tripped up and nice. Defense are concerned about the fake. So from the 46-yard line, Nick Ellis boots it. And ah. it'll go into the end zone. The early downs and they elect to go with one back here. So Walker throws as he moves, and it's almost intercepted. This season, right now in his first half, he's got 33 yards passing. He'll hand it off there, up inside to Jihad Thomas, who's thrown 22. And Walker's just going to get back to the original line of punt from its own 10-yard line or so. Fair catch made at the 42. So what can they do here with this last minute and 10? Ely throws to the outside. Nice juke. Deontay Johnson has been playing off, and you give up those hitches and underneath throws. Ely sidearms one out to Kareem Hunt, but he'll be sat on there. and One timeout left. You'd like to save that for the field goal team if you can. Ely across the middle has his tight end Michael Roberts in Stratton. Got the coverage off him, hit them going right at the hash. Ooh, center lost the handle on the snap. He lost the handle. Snap infraction. Offense. Number 68. Toledo is using their yep. timeout to avoid the 10 second subtraction. Timeout, Toledo. The 26 yard line, again, no timeouts left for Toledo. They're going to hand it off to Kareem Hunt. He's not going to get much. See if they. And they do. 
want to get the ball to the 20 yard line in order to attempt a field goal. Going to knock it through, and that will be how the first half comes to a close. First quarter, all Temple. Second quarter, all Toledo. Had a nine point lead for the Rockets over the Owls at the end of the first half. We'll go back to the studio for the Coke Zero halftime report now. Here's Chris Cotter. I'm over the top. Temple won the toss and deferred in the first half. They'll start with the touchback to start manning things up on the sideline. Of course, Kendall, the offensive coordinator for the season. Here's the uh, jet sweep, Robbie Anderson. P.J. Walker, 6 of 12, throwing the ball for just 33 yards in the first half. He'll hand it off here, up inside. Raquel Armstead this year. But there you saw Thomas on the sideline watching. Walker throws on first down, wide open, over the middle, Ventel Bryant. All the way down to the 25-yard line, a huge offensive play for Temple. Temple gets in two backs, one tight end. You got crossing routes coming here against two deep look. P.J. Walker does a nice job threading that ball in behind the linebacker. Bryant, the redshirt freshman from Tampa, started six of the last ten games this year. And has the Owls in business down at the 25-yard line. Going across the other way, Brandon Shippen will get the corner and get the first down, knocked out of bounds. What happens on these first two drives on both sides is critical to the outcome of the game. Armstead trying to fight the dominant running back for the Owls. Both banged up. Walker pulls that one back out. Nice spin move there. New wrinkles. Like we said, two fly sweeps. Didn't see a lot of zone read in the first half in the vertical shot. Walker throws, trying to go for the back shoulder. Here is Austin Jones to try. And he will be true. Against the pass and see if Toledo will counter getting back into that running game where Philip Ely threw for 168, had a great yard, a great game throwing it in the first half. Deontay Johnson will be out of court. And knee injury in the offseason, so he's overcome a lot to get back in the lineup. Gonna hand it off. And inside, and then inside of him right here is Jones, who had the touchdown in the first half, so it makes it really tough. Somebody's got to get singled up out there. Kareem. The safety back here, so Temple is in fact going to more. They're skying down here, playing one high against the motion, but they have played a little bit more too high tilt on the pass game. Not on the same very first one of the game, and what a different story it might have been had they gotten it. Nick Ellis gets that one away. Chandler at his 35. Gets up. Six. Good starting field position here. 46-yard line for P.J. Walker in the Owl offense. Good first down. Territory at the 49. Nice read. Nice. Andre right there at the top of the screen. Here they come on the reverse. Well snipped out, but Bryant makes a move and makes a few miss. Still going. And Temple getting pretty creative. This is Armstead. He'll have the first down. Motion back, basically the same type of formation here. Walker throws on first down, in and out of the hands. They're penetrate up front. They're going to move and slant and stunt. Throws the near side to Anderson, slips away again, gets it. Right here, you've got to get yourself and try to get a touchdown. Steal this momentum back. Smacked. David Hood, game so far. And he'll be true on that one as well. And as it, your turn. Pretty good answer by Temple, as we said, and start that second half, you know, did you come to win and two. Now the saving grace for Toledo is they didn't give up touchdowns, they gave up field goals. Absolutely. So from the 35, Philip Ely hands the ball off. Terry. Way off sides, standing in the backfield, going to call it. <laughs> he stepped back. <laughs> nice run for Swanson. Close to first down yardage. And looks like he's still fighting. Fall out just outside the 45-yard line. 
Gives Swanson another go. Throw it and says, guys, let's just remember to have fun. Don't look at the score. Just enjoy the game. Swanson will get the first down there. Did they just change centers there on the go? Matt Campbell, of course, he's a, he was an offensive lineman by trade, so that's where he's keeping a lot of his eyes. Jones Moore again with the catch. This is, this is uh, a little bit of rain, not a problem to play in, but when it gets torrential like this, it really affects the passing game. Jones Moore. Matt, can you throw the ball successfully? Yeah, you wonder. It looked like Phillip had a, a little bit of an issue in that first half. Now you got a penalty to go along with it. Elijah and Kansa, the left, uh, the right tackle level. All start, offense number 76, five yard penalty, still third down. Her hand in the ground, gonna rush three. Matt Cavins looks like he's one of them. Ely throwing long, got a receiver, caught Corey Jones. No, they say incomplete, it came out. Wow, was that a heck of a throw, boy, right over the linebacker underneath the safety. I feel you, Phil. That was a great ball in these conditions. Had a lot of white shirts around it, and he just couldn't hold it all the way to the ground. Look at that. Who got the rake in there? That was Nate L. Smith, 13. Ely, touchdown. Ah, oh, no. Get in there. See that? Really unusual. Brad Spellman, the long snapper, able to get it off almost. Got a hand on it, did Cherie Finch, and it'll go into the end zone. Bill Waves. Gonna be a flashback to many years. So P.J. Walker scrambling back to the original line. We're not, well, actually both of them were not able to get the ball into the end zone, though. It had to settle for field goals, which could come back to haunt him later on. First down for Robbie Anderson before he... Keep an eye on that. Corner blitz picked up. Had time. He's going to run out of time. Something big. That's going to be a false start on the far side. Should be Sal Major, 82. False start. 82, 82. offense. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. With a throw early in the in the second. Uh, Toledo's taking a few more shots downfield. And, of course, they missed that touchdown throw to Jones here last drive. But neither team has gotten a lot of points when they've had momentum. Uh, this third quarter, Temple's had two possessions, only gotten two field goals out of it. And there's the third and long throw, and it's not. Pass interference. Defense, number 20. Ball be placed in spot of the foul. Automatic first down. The guy in the center, two guys on the guard, two rushers coming outside. Walker going to take a shot downfield over the outside shoulder. Falling like we've got. Toledo got all kinds of substitution issues. Flag down, Ventel Bryant with the first down. Will it stand? Personal foul, chop block, offense, number 66 and number 75. 15 yards from the previous spot. Replay second down. And, and uh, a bunch. Batted away and falls to the ground. Try Toledo. Falls on the ground and there's gonna be a flag and a whistle and a false start or a snap violation. Snap infraction, offense number 79. Five yard penalty, still third down. This week, right? <laughs> They're talking about like in the 60s in New York City. David Hood out across the Corey Jones is back deep. Dangerous receiver, the first team all Mac punt returner. Look at that kick, sends him back. And it's going to roll into the end zone. He did a, he's had a sensational night tonight. But haven't had anything going through this uh, second half so far. He's going to try here, down the field, hits a receiver in stride. Cody Thompson, a race to the pylon. And a touchdown, Toledo, 80 yards. Sweet little wrinkle now. Temple's been playing with cover two, trying to stop the passing game a little bit. They got a little sugar going up on top, but then you're going to see the route inside, thin post. Philip Ely delivers it on time. 
Big play. Haven't had a lot of explosion plays in this game. Temple got one the first drive they had. Jones dropped the one before the second drive. How about Philip Ely coming on and making plays? He's doing a great job. Offensive MVP. Some tough conditions. He's been impressive even on a dry night, let alone a wet night. Kick fielded short. One, they've had to settle for field goals three times instead of touchdowns. Those points they could certainly use. They'll give Anderson the catch there at the 34-yard line. And the other is, this offense really isn't cut out to come back from a big deficit. So they need to come up with something here on this drive. Yeah, a little bit of a low throw. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Mr. Shaw? After further review, the ball touched the ground. Therefore, it's an incomplete pass. It'll be second and 10. Those explosion plays when you're not catching it on the run. Walker throws in and knocked away. Cheatham Norrells and slid him inside as a nickel on the inside receiver. Walker just tosses it ahead. And a good play to David Hood to get yard line. They're going to have to come up with an explosion play of their own. They're, they've shown in this game they don't really have the ability just to ground and pound it out when they're down by 10. There's Anderson across the center. He'll be all Rockets backfield. Behind. The second down throw in traffic and intercepted. Juwan Hayes comes up with the deflected ball and the turnover in the favor of Toledo. Throwing that ball, little hook route to Adonis Jennings, number 88. Again, you got to come down hard for that ball, come right back down, race back down. You see just a little stagnant. Anytime those balls are up around over the shoulders, they're going to get, if they get tipped, they're popped up in the air, and it's not good. So a memorable moment for the senior from Pittsburgh, Jawan Hayes, who has his first interception of the season in the fourth quarter of the bowl game. And there's your turnover. So now it's on the Temple defense to slow down this rocket offense and get the ball back quickly. See Phil Snow when he does, brings pressure. Nice catch reaching behind. Between the DN punching out in the corner on the backside. Now Kareem Hunt to try and eat a little clock. He'll have the first down. Then it is a strategy with a clock. Healy throws, there's Russell again. Steps aside. Receivers, man, they're so built on their legs. And if you got any kind of nick, it's hard to get out there and run. But I'm telling you, Philip Ely's putting on a show. That guy had a run pass option that last time, pulled it, throw the hitch outside. Toledo gets out of it. Now they change up, play more quarters. And again, Kareem Hunt protecting under nine minutes to go. Into the center, but Michael. Here's the reverse. Corey Jones coming at you. Illegal block in the back. Number 25, offense. 10 yard penalty. Still first down. Takes away a tough momentum and a yardage play. Here's Terry Swanson. Bounces off a would be tackler. Down to the 20. Nuggets. That's smoke coming out of his calculator. Swanson. Boxing match from the 20 down to the goal line. There's Hunt. He's gone up for the ring, going back to their seats. Who knew football could be such a workout? Nice pass. Alonzo Russell. They're going to mark him down just shy of the goal line. Russell, second all-time in touchdown receptions for Toledo. Needed one to tie and two to take the record. He just missed one there. Philip Ely doing a nice job. You see him looking at the free safety. Got his coverage direct to touchdown Rockets. Kareem Hunt into the end zone. Well, we wondered how much the coaching change would affect the Rockets. Not much. 
Still carrying the mojo through. Now, Tiffany reported earlier about how, you know, some of the players were angry. Yeah. Uh, some were a little wound up about it. But Jason Candle, I, I spoke uh, with the athletic director, Michael Bryan, for Toledo earlier uh, at practice a couple days ago on Sunday. And his impression on the coaching change was, oh, blocked. Does it get picked up and taken back the other way? Not quite. Well, as you mentioned, Alan Temple is just, they're not built necessarily to go fast and launch the ball vertically. That's not how they're, how they're wired. Jagger Gardner is going to get them out to the game. No picks, no sacks. Walker Thomas injured. That's also a limiting factor. Walker hit as he throws near side into a crowd. Good strike there. Under five minutes to go. Near side. Job. People came after him this year to try to steal him away. He's stuck in Philly. Likes Temple. Likes his kids. Walker gets away. And throws it in. Um, really, things are really bright in Philly. Walker throws. Nice kick. T.J. Walker, 17 of 33, 168 yards passing, no touchdowns, one interception thrown across the middle. Not one of those that's going to go so fast that they can't substitute. Well, there's Toledo Walker. playing this down with 10 guys on the field. One that comes up right after the clock strikes zero here in Boca Raton. Walker's going to fling it away out of... No foul, roughing the passer, defense number nine, contact below the knee. the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. The Richard freshman defensive end. Walker throws high. Caught. Shipping. Three up. And it's not their normal base operating rules. Not out of reach, but they got to get it in the end zone and not turn it over there. Allen, I've seen it. 16 points in 24 seconds. Yep. I've seen it before. Yep. To the corner of the end zone. Shipping. The intended receiver and a flag. Good call by the official. Anytime you don't play the ball, if you got your your head on the receiver and don't play the ball, it's almost a gimme for the official. It's too he's got to turn his head around and play the ball. Pass interference. Defense number eight. The foul occurred in the end zone. By roll, the ball replaced with the tool yard line. Automatic. First down. So first and goal in a big downpour. Temple hands it off. This is Kit Patton. He'll get into the end zone for the Owls touchdown. Their first of the game with under three minutes to go. Pretty nice drive. Going no huddle. A little change of pace. Had a couple substitution errors there by Toledo. Oh, he always got the two play. I always love this. In the game plan, normally when you come in as a coach, you're going to have one, maybe two, two-point plays in your in your pocketbook, and they're going to have to use them both tonight. Temple is three for three on two-point attempts this year, all of them passing. Two by Walker, one, two, P.J. Walker. Normally teams like to get in kind of a bunch look. Tied in out the backside, picked up well. Throw it, Pete. In trouble. Going to heave it up there and wide open. Robbie Anderson. Defense abandoned him, and he was left standing there all alone. And a great job by P.J. Walker to keep the play alive long enough to get rid of it. They tried to sprint out and go delay and leak the tight end back across to the left-hand side. Covered well. And then everybody thought P.J. was getting sacked. You watch at the beginning of this, Hawk. I know you saw this, but watch. There's about four blue shirts in the neighborhood of him. And then as this thing gets strung out by Walker, watch him abandon. There you go. Next, we'll see which one of them they pull out of the bag here and see if they can find a way to recover the ball. Well, what he ought to think about is going check with me here, try to hit it in the... And he does! Got a shot! Look at it! At the bottom of the pile! It went the 10 yards. Now who's got it? 
They did. They went with the check with me kick. The kicker did an awesome job. Sloughed it into the open hole and see who's got it under there. There's a lot of people getting pinched and poked down in there. I can tell you right now going on. It's not a good place to be. And you can't grab guys and pull them off. When you used to in the old days, you'd want to get those guys out of the pile so they wouldn't dig it out. But you can't do that. It's a penalty now. There's a lot of guys waving at who's got possession of the ball wearing white shirts, but none of them wearing the panda colors of the referees. <laughs> now the kicker jumped up and said, we got the ball. Now the official says, Toledo's go the other way. Got it. And uh -oh. a flag comes uh -oh. out. There's some unpleasantries happening at the bottom of that pile. Okay, Steve Shaw, you went the whole game without controversy. Now you've got it. So not controversy. Um, we had to get into the bottom of the pile and see who's got the ball. You know, you said it uh, a lot of times that uh, a lot of things going on at the bottom of that pile. Uh, but uh, the crew ruled that uh, the receivers had the ball. And uh, not sure what the extracurricular activity was. We'll hear from Kevin Stein right here. Now, of course, the review process is available, but how in the world would you ever get indisputable video evidence beyond a doubt at the bottom of that pile? Yeah, there was no way to see anything at the bottom. The ball was recovered by the receiving team. There are two fouls following the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the receiving team number 25. Unsportsmanlike conduct, kicking team number 21. Those fouls offset. That is number 25 and number 21's first unsportsmanlike foul. Football, we could see what was going on in there. Beautiful job by Mays here to drag the kick 10 yards. Well, he's in great position to get it, but I don't know what happens. Yeah. So from a replay perspective on this recovery, you have to have a clear recovery. And uh, ball is under the kicker right there. But but, but you've got to have indisputable there. video evidence of a recovery. And hard to tell what happened underneath all that. They don't stop it from the replay booth, so it's Toledo ball and Kareem Hunt has it. Guys, to get on all fours and just kind of like army crawl in there. That's exactly. We call it a dig out, and that was that was where you have a dig out. Kareem Hunt digging inside the 20. May go all the way to the end zone, and he does. Touchdown, Toledo. It has been a game of big plays completely swinging momentum again you see toledo two pullers working out blocking down kicking out the strength and power weight carrying through so kareem hunt with his second of the game his 12th rushing touchdown of the season and the point after try here And Jamison Best. The replay had absolutely nothing right. to come in and look at. Right. Well, a big kick return here. Might still leave there a question, but there's not going to be a big kick return. Let's see if P.J. Walker can work a little magic in a little bit of time. Tosses it outside. David Hood. Toledo beats Iowa State, beats Arkansas. Temple beats Penn State. Walker deep has a receiver and ship. Really nice job turning it over. That was a 43 yarder there in and out of. Uh, cares about the kids a lot. Good coach. Walker heaves it to the outside caught and stepping out of. Toledo brings four. They've been rushing three a decent. Oh, under pressure and down he goes. Dude, you got to keep it on the outside and keep it deep. Second and 20 also. Ooh, that's short. Like that. Get some deep comeback routes on the sideline or get some balls into the end zone. Walker's not going to get away. Other than a couple of zone replays. I mean, he's not really taken off and scrambled with the ball and really hurt Toledo today. 
So it's fourth down. He's going to throw it toward the end zone, into traffic, up and knocked away from Bryant. Dewan Rogers was there defending 23 for Toledo. And that'll be the ball game as it goes over on downs to the Rockets. Well, we know that Toledo, had they won this game, had the victory formation set to bring all the seniors out, regardless of what position, and get in the victory formation. So, the, unfortunately, they will not be able to execute that for their seniors. He had a shot at it. Nice job by Rodgers to get the hands in there and knock it away. Yeah. So, Temple will come up with a 10-win season, but they'll be one game shy of the first ever 11-win season for the school. And for Toledo, going to have their first 10-win season since they went 10-2 and two back in 2001. And the victory formation here for the Rockets around their senior quarterback, Philip Ely, who will cap off his collegiate career with an outstanding performance here in Boca Raton. Really spectacular, even on a dry night, but considering it was a wet night. And then he's out without one of his best receivers in Alonzo Russell the entire first half. Super performance. 32-17 will be your final score. The second annual Marmot Boca Raton Bowl. Teams had a great week here in South Florida. Wish the weather had cooperated more at the end of the game. And of course for Jason Candle, his first win as a head coach. No doubt a happy trip down the elevators from upstairs where he called the game with his offensive coordinator's headset still on. Doesn't need the water bucket thrown on him. All he's got to do is get out there in the middle of the field and get plenty wet. What a game for Philip Ely. So final score, 32-17, Toledo over Temple. For Dan Hawkins and Tiffany Green, I'm Alan Bestwick. Don't forget, trophy ceremony comes up on ESPN3 right away. They'll set the stage up. We'll hear from the offensive and defensive MVPs in a moment. Sports Center now in 15 seconds.